In this topic, we are going to talk about the differences between domestic human resource management and international human resource management. Domestic meaning the human resource management which are confined to one country, to one national boundary, and international human resource management which is carried out in various different countries. So what are the differences between domestic human resource management and interna international human resource management? The basic difference between international human resource management and domestic human resource management is that IHRM is much more complex. There are a lot many factors affecting IHRM than domestic HRM. What could be the sources of this complexity? The sources of this complexity are coming from, number one, there are more HR activities to perform. Secondly, there is a need for a broader perspective. Obviously, if you are confined to one national border, you will not have to have a wide range of perspective. But if you are going international, you will have to broaden up your perspective so that you can manage uh, a wide range of activities. The third complexity comes from more involvement in employees' personal lives. The fourth source of complexity is changes in emphasis because of the workforce mix. Obviously, when you are working in international domain, you will have people coming from various different countries, from various different cultures, with various different backgrounds, and definitely you will have to have a mix of those um, people and you will have to manage them. And then the next source of complexity is risk, risk exposure. And uh, there is obviously more risk in going international. We'll discuss about that. And then the last one is broader external influences. Now we will discuss each one of the source of complexity in, de uh, in detail. Now, how do we have more HR activities in international human resource management? Uh, when you are going international, when you are paying people in an international context, you need to have understanding about international taxation. Aap jis mulk mein ja ke kaam kar rahe hain, unka taxation management system aapne apne country ka bhi samajna hai aur aapne foreign country ka taxation management system bhi samajna hai. Secondly, international relocation and orientation. When you are sending people from your own country to a host country or you are bringing people from host country to the parent country, you will have to carry out the activity of relocation and obviously it is not so simple when you move one person from one country to another country you need to conduct some orientation you need to tell them what type of culture is there and many other things which are related with the new environment so that is an additional HR activity which takes place in IHRM and does not take place in domestic HRM the third one is administrative services for expatriates. You need to administer, you need to uh, carry out administrative activities for the expatriates. Then you have to uh, carry out host country, uh, government relations. You need to make relations with the host country government. And then you need to have language translation services. So more HR activities. International relocation then it involves arranging for pre-departure training. आप किसी को बाहर भेज रहे हैं तो उसको भेजने से पहले आपने उसकी training करनी है. Providing immigration and travel details. आपने immigration करने के क्या requirements हैं? 
اور آپ کو ویزا کیسے ملے گا اور اس طرح کی ساری ڈیٹیلس دین آپ نے اپنے لوگوں کو باہر بھیجنا ہے تو ان کو آپ نے ہاؤزنگ شاپنگ میڈیکل کیئر ریکریشن اینڈ اسکولنگ انفارمیشن بھی پرووائڈ کرنی ہے سو دیر آر مور ایکٹیویٹیز انوالو دین یو ہیو ٹو فائنلائز کمپنسیشن ڈیٹیلس سچ ایز ڈلیوری آف سیلری اوورسیز آپ کس طرح سے ان کو سیلری دیں گے اب اگر آپ ایک شخص کو کسی دوسرے ملک میں بھیج رہے ہیں کیا اس کا وہاں بینک اکاؤنٹ ہے یا وہ اپنے پیرنٹ کنٹری کے بینک اکاؤنٹ میں چاہتا ہے سیلری ٹرانسفر کرنا آل دیز ڈیٹیلس دین ڈٹرمنیشن آف اوورسیز الاؤنسز آبویسلی ان انٹرنیشنل اسائنمنٹس دیر از مور پے گیون ٹو پیپل اینڈ دین ٹیکسیشن ٹریٹمنٹ ہاؤ آر دوز پیپل گوئنگ ٹو بی ٹیکس ان کو اپنے کنٹری کا بھی ٹیکس دینا پڑے گا اور فورن کنٹری کا بھی دینا پڑے گا یا آپ اس کو کس طرح سے مینیج کریں گے سو کمپنسیشن ڈیٹیلس آر ویری مچ کمپلیکس دین یو نیڈ ٹو گو فار اے براڈر پرسپیکٹو ان وچ یو نیڈ ٹو ڈیزائن اینڈ ایڈمنسٹریشن آف ایچ آر پالیسیز ٹو فٹ دا نیڈ آف اے براڈ امپلائی بیس آبویسلی یو ہیو اے لاٹ آف پیپل کمنگ فرام ڈفرینٹ کنٹریز So you need to have a broader perspective. Your HR policies cannot be fit to only one culture. And then there are equality issues. Uh, parent country nationals are usually treated with some kind of favoritism or with some more relaxation or margin than host country nationals, which creates equality issues that needs to be dealt with. Then you need to be more involved in employees' personal lives Uh, you need to be more involved in the process of selection, training for both parent country nationals and host country nationals. Then you have to make clear communication of housing arrangements, health care and compensation. You may also need to establish an international HR services sections in which you provide international HR services to your employees who are coming from one country to the other. Then you also need to be more involved with the employees' families because when you are sending people from one country to the other, people obviously have families with them, they have spouses, they have children who will be moving from one culture to the other. So you need to be more involved with them. You need to know how many children does that, does that person have? Is he married, not married? What type of uh, uh, dependents does that person have? So you need to know the family mix and responsibilities of that person so that you can make a selection as well as easy transfer of a person from one place to the other. Then you need to uh, communicate host country requirements for a company's accompanying families. Aapne unke visa ka kis tarah se ویزاز ایشو کروانے ہیں اس میں کیا ریکوائرمنٹس ہیں آپ کو کیا کیا ڈاکومنٹس پرووائڈ کرنے پڑیں گے آپ کو بچوں کے سرٹیفکیٹس میرج سرٹیفکیٹس یہ سب چیزیں آپ کو پرووائڈ کرنی پڑیں گی سو یہ سب ڈیٹیلس آپ کو بتانی ہیں اینڈ دین ہاؤزنگ اینڈ اسکولنگ آپشنز اینڈ دین ریکریشنل پروگرامس ان سرٹن لوکیشنز یو نیڈ ٹو ڈیولپ Uh, specific recreational programs in places which are less developed and uh, particularly which are at risk. Then another uh, source of complexity is the change in emphasis as the workforce mix um, of PCNs and HCNs varies. Uh, as an organization grows, as it becomes more embedded, in a foreign country, definitely the mix of parent country nationals and host country nationals will change. Just as an organization is established in any country, there will be more workforce in that organization, more employment will be achieved and the proportion will change. So, you have to live in a continuous change process to understand your human resource. Then another source is risk exposure. Uh, there is definitely more risk of cost in sending people to other countries because there is more chances of failure. There is possibility that a person may not get adjusted to the new environment. He may not be as functional as he was in 
the parent country. So you need to uh, have a contingency plan for such type of risk. Another type of risk is uh, that is, is terrorism uh, that has taken over the entire globe and everybody is concerned about that. So when you are sending people to other countries, you need to have a check on what type of terrorism issues are being faced in that country and how you are going to ensure the security of your employees over there. So that is risk exposure. That is another uh, um, source of complexity. And then there are broader external influences. Uh, there are influences from the government and there are influences from the labor market. If you are going from a developing country to a developed country, there will be more labor regulations and you will have to work with that. People will be more concerned about their, rule, about their rights and obligations. Uh, in developing countries, there are lesser boundaries, there are lesser rules and regulations. The labor market is easier. So if you are moving between developing and developed countries, you will need to make uh, sure that you are following the right type of rules and regulations. So you have to uh, take into account many broader external influences in managing your international human resource function.